Hello, Chris from My Stamp Lady here. I'm going to show you in this video how to make this fun and very easy gift card holder. This is probably my favorite one because it really pops up the gift card right in the center, but yet looks like a little card. So let's get started. To make the base of the card, I start with an 11 by four and a quarter, four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock. And I score that at three inches at five and a half inches and again at eight inches. So that was three inches, five and a half and eight inches. And I can put my Simply Scored away. Now my five and a half mark, I fold up like this and I'm going to press that down. And then you take each of the other two marks and fold them back on itself. And I can flip that over and repeat. So the other two marks will get folded back on themselves just like that. There we go. So you have a smaller little spot in the center and then your larger um, your larger ends for the front and the back. I'm going to straighten that out just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to take a piece of sticky strip and we will just place that in between this valley fold right here, right along the edge and this is going to form the little pocket to make my gift card holder. There we go. Pull that up and then press that down. So this is the basic part pocket. of that. Then I'm going to take a snowflake from Snowflake Sorry and with Versamark ink I am just going to randomly stamp the front. Now as this ink dries it will become darker. We'll add to the middle. Okay, so we are going to measure over three eighths of an inch from each end. Take my word window punch and I have made little, with a sharpie marker, I've made little lines in the center. So I'm going to line up with that pencil mark once and I'm lining up with my little lines in the center. Punch one and then I'll line up with the pencil mark on the other end like that and then in the center I'm going to take I have a three-quarter inch circle where they kind of meet and we'll go down and just punch out a little notch so I have a space there I have punched my window and the little center circle I will put in my gift card right in the center there we go so now that fits in the center Okay, so that was three eighths of an inch on each end, up from each end. Okay, so all that's left now is to do some decorating. I am going to take my gumball green ribbon and I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on it. And this will just help to hold it. And if it doesn't hold it permanently, that's fine because I will be putting some um, something over it. Okay, so let's place that in the center of my little card folder here. There we go. And then we can just tie a bow. There we go. Okay, now to decorate the front a little bit more, I'm going to pull in, I have a piece of Whisper White and a piece of real red. Now this is, says Merry and Bright and it's from the Jolly Jingle Bits wheel that I've cut apart and mounted on the um, the foam, the cling mount foam that you can get in the back of the catalog. I have directions how to do that and on my blog I'll have a link to show you how to and what to do with that to do the to separate your wheels. I use the Sensational Season, season and with the framelit I cut out a Christmas tree and I'm going to pop that up with dimensionals. There we go. And we'll put our little Christmas tree on there. And then I stamped a star in Daffodil Delight and with the framelit I pop that out and then we'll take and put that on with a mini glue dot. Okay. Then I just cut the corners, the top and bottom corner to make it look like a tag put down some adhesive, mount that on a real red cardstock mat, 
There we go. Throw some dimensionals on the back here. There we are. Okay. And then we'll set that just in the center of my little card. So I'm going to untie this so that I can center it a little bit better. There we are. And you have a very easy gift card holder that looks wonderful. It just, I really like the way that this card looks. So I'll tie my bow back up here. And then this is ready to give to somebody this Christmas. You can also change up the occasion, make it a, a birthday one or whatever. You may have a thank you card that you're giving a gift card to somebody and make a little folder for it. If you have any questions, be sure to contact me, Chris, at mystamplady.com. All of the supplies I used here today are available in my online store. Thanks for watching.